Welcome back to my 2018 basics. How you doing everybody? Today we're going to show you how to animate with nonlinear deformers. Something very quick, simple, basic. We're going to go diving in deeper to animation with rigging and all kinds of stuff. But today I want to show you, like I promised before when we were talking about nonlinear deformers, how to animate. So we've got our cube here. Let's, or rather our, uh, you know, our long building, let's say. And we've got plenty of subdivisions in there. We are only as good as our subdivisions when it comes to nonlinear deformers. So let's make sure that we have those in there. We're going to go into deform, nonlinear, and bend. We've got the bend in the outliner. We've got it in the channel box and the attribute editor. Now what's left to do is go into it. Select curvature. Now we want a key. We got a keyframe, right? So we go to our first one. Let's just right click and select the key. You see it show up there as red here. It's showing up as red here. Excellent. Now let's curve it. Boom. Put it right here. Let's do it again. Boom. Always set your key first here. That's a good, good thing that I did that to show you the difference there. Key selected. So now we go to another one. Let's go to this one. Change it and then right click key selected. Let's go uh, over here and then we do it again and then select that key there. Let's go to 19, go all the way closed, let's say, and then key selected. Now we can take a look at our animation and see if we didn't screw it up. Boom, that'll do it, right? So we're animating. Yay! We know how to animate in Maya 2018. Yes! Well, it's the first step to a mighty, mighty journey towards higher level animation. But you got to start somewhere, folks. All right. So the only thing to show you at this point is what if we don't want these anymore? Well, we can go here and right click and delete our keyframes individually. Or we can go here, right click and go all the way down and say break connections and that'll break all connections and you'll be good to go. Another thing to keep in mind with deformers and I'll mention it a couple times, if you move this, it's going to obviously deform. What if we want it right there? We want that bend as it is and then we wanna start moving it around. Well, we can go into this particular icon or you can go into uh, delete all by type history here under edit, but I like this little I like this little guy right here It's gonna allow us to delete the construction history and then we can move this guy around But what if we want to bend it more you may ask? Okay, well, that's why we have control Z ladies and gents right there. You got your bend back All right, so animating a deformer a nonlinear deformer in Maya 2018, bada bing, bada boom. Have a beautiful day, and we'll talk to you soon.